What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 10, 17 a.m. Eastern Time, March 12, 2018. We got a trading video coming to you. If you're new to us, hit that subscribe button. Hit the upvote button as well. Uh, Steam it in DTube. If you're not on those platforms, definitely get on over there. The link is down below. And if you guys are on Steam it in DTube and watching us there, um, please, you know, subscribe, upvote, re-steam would all be greatly, greatly appreciated. Subscribe at the very least. So let's get right on into it. We are a technical analysis channel right that's what we do a lot of it um and primarily we we're concentrating on bitcoin these days right so let's get right into it i'm going to try to make this video as short as short as possible because um of a lot of different reasons but uh i just want to make it as short as possible um i got a few things i gotta get i gotta get done today uh this is the first thing this morning i wanted to get this out to you guys uh just kind of tell you a little bit about the way in which we're looking at things with respect to last night okay so i think when we left last night we were somewhere around here right now we're looking at a 15 minute basis uh um on uh, on bitstamp let's go ahead and look, let's look at this on a one hour basis that's what we normally show you guys so on a one hour basis um i think we were right around here when we were speaking last night and you know what we were thinking is that that the one two three four five was was pretty much over but another way to draw it is now that now this is the fifth wave right that this is you know one two three four five okay and that possibly now we're gonna have an abc correction Another way to draw it is also that this was five waves coming up right here and that this was, you know, right here, this was the correction right here and that this is the beginning of a uh, another motive wave coming up. I don't like that count as much, but um, I'm really, I'm much more confident with this count right here of the one, two, three, four, five, and now the market's kind of coming down right here. The next thing we have is an ascending wedge, right? This ascending wedge right here. Now, the way in which we're counting this is possibly that that right here we had a one two three four five coming down right and this is a, this is on a on a bullish basis right if you look at our video last night we're saying maybe that this is an a this is a b this is a c right and then now we're going to have a one two three four five coming up and we were saying this is one this is two and then we'd have a three coming up here a four and a five okay but if this thing breaks down if this thing breaks down starts breaking down then then that count is pretty much over and that's what i'm looking for right and I like the fact that we have an ascending wedge here because the ascending wedge is is putting bounds on this thing, right? It's putting bounds. It's it's allowing us to go ahead and 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 measure this thing a little bit more, a little bit more uh, directly, okay? Um, if this thing starts breaking through this ascending wedge, I'd imagine that it's going to propagate even further. Um, it's going to and it's and it's going to it's going to accelerate uh, to the downside. Okay, we're still looking at this W X Y. Um, possibility, you know, WXY, you know, XZ, possibly, you know, the, the probability of that happening is becoming smaller and smaller. But, you know, in the event that this thing does fall off, then we possibly could have another zigzag coming down. And that's going to give us exactly just that. A zigzag is pretty much this right here. And so we would have a double zigzag. So um, that's kind of the way we're looking at it right now. Um, on uh, as far as a Laguerre basis is concerned, everything is pretty much overbought. So let's take a let's start at like the 15 minute basis, right? So we were overbought, we came down to oversell right here. But this is on a 15 minute basis, and you can whipsaw around pretty quickly. But let's start looking at a 30 minute basis. Okay, it's coming from overbought, and it's coming down towards the oversold uh, side. Overbought, I mean, when I start when I was started, you know, looking at things and it was, it was kind of preparing for this video, everything was was very much overbought. So um, overbought on the on the on the hour basis, we're coming back down. Um, two hour basis overbought we're crossing under three hour um, overbought not even looking to cross uh, uh, down just yet four hour same thing six hour same thing 12 hour uh, 12 hour th we're, we're oversold and we're looking to, to, to move up to overbought territory so what, what that's telling me is that on the on the on the intermediate time frame so let's say from one hour to six hours we're oversold I assume we were overbought and on the 12 hour to daily basis, we are oversold, okay? And that's generally the way in which we are thinking about sentiment right now. And so we could have a, a correction on the shorter time periods calling from like a one hour to a six hour basis versus the 12 hour to the, to, to the, to the daily basis. Uh, weekly basis. I don't think we really even talked to you guys too much about the weekly basis. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, weekly basis, it's, it's um, oversold. Okay, so 
you know, and that's that kind of goes hand in hand. Where overall, on a daily basis, we've been a little bit more um, uh, bullish lately, but that's kind of turning over. We're kind of becoming a little bit more bearish on a, on, on a daily basis now. Again, everybody was, you know, uh, um, is looking for that crystal ball, and 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 Elliott wave theory doesn't really always give you that crystal ball. But what it does tell you is, hey, it, it, at the very worst, it, what it does tell you is, hey, okay, um, a bunch of things could could possibly happen, but we need to wait for a breakout. And 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 the best traders that are out there, they don't know the direction of the market. I know it's shocking to some people, especially newbies. It's shocking that the best traders in the world, they really don't know which way the market's going to go. But what they're able to measure is they're able to measure when the market has to break either one direction or the other. And they wait for that break in that direction, and then they, 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 can, they, they then just join the party. Okay? But they're able to very, very scientifically understand when and at what price things need to get to in order to confirm that it's breaking in a certain direction. And... We are pretty much kind of at that at that point right now. Okay, we're pretty much at, the, at that point right now. There's a few different ways to go ahead and count, especially this last wave right here. But you know, okay, so let's let's just bring this through here. So let's say, for example, that this right here was just a one, two, three, four, five, right? And this was some sort of a correction, and then we're going to be making another mode of wave up. Well, if if this kind of falls off right here, right? Well, then clearly, and we have a, a, a failure. If this if this right here is supposed to be one, and this is supposed to be two, well, we can't it can't go below one, so that we know now now that, that that's ruled out, right? So then you can rule that off the table. So then there's a good chance that this right here is a one, two, three, four, five, right? So then if let's say for example this sells off, right, and it continues to sell off, let's say for example much lower than the than than, than the four right here, and it starts getting to the one territory right here, well then you can say, well, okay, well maybe the bears are in control. So there's a lot of market sentiment that you can measure specifically from understanding what happens with the Elliott waves, right? And then you can go ahead and work backwards. And by working backwards, that helps you to work forwards, all right? And that's the beauty behind this. It's just not going to tell you, hey, it's time to buy right now. Hey, it's time to sell right now. Hey, the market's going to be at X dollars in, in, in Y, in y, in y uh, time period, okay? People, if you're looking for that, you know, you're looking for a crystal ball and it does not exist. So, um, and if somebody is telling you that, then you need to hold on to your wallet and, and, and go to the next channel. Because I've worked with the best traders that are out there, guys that make you know hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and there's no one that knows, there's no one that knows that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's start looking at the hidden support and and hidden resistance level. So on the one hour support, now we're going to turn. Uh, the one hour support right here was 9,288. We're going to actually move that up to 9,570. All right, 9,570. All right. So you can see we're basically coming down to this level right now we're basically almost kissed it already as we're making this video um <clears throat> yeah the low in this candle right here this is on an hourly basis the low on this candle right here is nine nine thousand five hundred thirty eight spots seventy five okay so we're we're off by about 12 bucks so far um and clearly i obviously had this number before we started making this video and so so in the event that the market then comes down below it um we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, possibly break this one hour support on a four hour on a four hour basis. We're turning the resistance to support on the four hour basis. This uh, is we're turning it to nine thousand one hundred and forty six, nine thousand one hundred and forty six on the four hour support. Nine thousand one hundred forty-six four-hour support. All right. So this is where we're going to be looking to see, and the market breaks down. I said already we're crossing below this nine thousand five hundred and seventy. Right. That's what this line is right here. Nine thousand five hundred and seventy. We're already closing. You know, crossing below it right here. We're break. We're breaking right through it. So, um, you know, we're also at a critical point right here because of the fact that we're at the top of this line. At least on this on this market we are. Um, on the other markets, not exactly sure where we. Are, yeah, so we're uh, 
above here. This is on Bitfinex, and then on on Coinbase, we're above it uh, uh, handedly. And you know, the trading view screwed up a bunch of my charts here, so I lost kind of some of my some of my stuff on some of these charts. Wow, this thing is selling off quite a bit. So now, okay, again, this is kind of where the beauty of Elliott wave theory and also the chart patterns in combination go ahead and help you uh, quite quite a bit. Okay, you can see here we're looking at this ascending wedge. Well, now we're kissing this ascending wedge right now. So you know, if we're looking to to, to break down below this, then possibly we could uh, we could have a further capitulation as far as that's concerned. As far as the Laguerre RSI, we still have room to run. So obviously the price would have room to run as well possibly we hit this four hour support of 9146 and then clearly what happens here is going to affect everything else right here so i think we're going to leave it for there right now on a daily basis um well actually let's look at it on a 55 ema basis 55 ema basis right now is uh 9000 392 okay so we're sitting away from it right now let's look to see if this thing closes below the 55 uh ema if it closes below the 55 ema then uh again that's going to be another sign where we come down a little bit further let's go look at things on a daily basis really quickly um really quickly yeah so we're still above the 55 ema 55 ema on a daily basis is about 9022 um about 9022 and we're we're handedly above it right but we had this huge buy candle right here this huge bullish candle right here so it makes sense that we're going to go ahead and possibly correct just a bit you know we had uh the 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 the, the bulls rejected right we had this long candle you know coming right coming down right here so the bulls handedly rejected now remember we have a lot of resistance coming around this level around this 98 98 9900 level right so 9900 level you know if you kind of go right back over here remember this right here remember this all right here okay we need i think a fair amount of volume to get through it and volume has been coming down right volume has been coming down and we need we need volume to get to to to, to, to get above it okay so now it's even coming off a little bit further so let me shut my trap and try to get this video out to you guys as quickly as possible and uh happy trading Good luck. Hopefully, we've given you some information here that you can make uh, the correct. We can make the uh, correct decision. Speak to you soon, and happy trading again.